Okay, I'm going to walk you through upgrading the firmware on a high vision camera. The particular camera I've got here, I just got this out of the box. It's a uh, DS-2CD 2385G1. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to upgrade the firmware. So right now, firmware version 5.5.83. Build 19.0.2.2.1. So I'm going to download the firmware. Now I, I found this site that lists all the different firmware builds, uh, the dates, when they came out, and it is the European site. So the Hike Vision, HikeVisionEurope.com. And so the build that this camera came with was the 558-3. And it actually came out uh, April 2019. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and download this one right here. The latest one that came out uh, last month. No, this month. What is, yeah, last month. This is uh, August 2nd. It came out in July. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. You, you got a PDF file. That tells the uh, release notes. And then you got the file itself. So I'm going to go ahead and download this the file uh, now let's see where I want to put it we'll just go to the desktop make it easy well actually that's not going to be easy I got so much stuff on my desktop uh, how about I'm just going to create a folder called hike vision Now that's the zip file that I just downloaded. I'm going to extract that file. There's only one file in that zip file. Come on, camera. Hopefully, you can see that. I'm going to extract that in that same hike vision folder I'm going to come over here to the hike vision folder okay and I'm just going to sh the reason I'm doing this is to show you that the file you just need to extract this file into another folder you can extract it on your desktop wherever you can find it now I'm going to log out of the camera just so that we can start from scratch. So here's this camera. I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to go to configuration, maintenance, and right here you're going to see firmware. I'm going to click browse. I'm going to go to the Hike Vision folder, which was in my C drive. Yeah, hold on, you probably didn't see that. Browse, computer, C drive, and, your, and yours will be wherever you put it. Okay, now I'm going to, this DAV file, I'm going to click on it. It's going to load that DAV file up. Then I'm just going to click upgrade. The device will reboot after upgrading. Continue, yes. You'll get the little progress screen. Uh, so as it upgrades, uh, you'll have a little readout showing the progression. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, I'll, uh, as soon as it's finished, uh, I'll come back and uh, We'll we'll check it out. It's at seventeen percent now. 
So I'm just going to put it on, put the camera on standby, and we'll be right back. Okay, camera just rebooted. So we're back at the login screen. I'm going to click login. We're going to go to system settings. And we're now at 5.6.1 build 19.0604, which is the latest build for this camera. So I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, setting it up. Oh, and just in case you get a camera that either your live view doesn't work or you don't have all of your uh, options up here, uh, at first, whenever I first got my camera, my other camera, every time it would boot up, it would actually default to Substream 2 instead of 1. And I didn't have my playback or picture button. All I had was live view and configuration. What I ended up having to do is download the plugin. Once I downloaded the plugin and ran it, everything came to life and everything everything worked great. So uh, if you are having issues with anything, download the plugin and give that a shot. Also, of course, upgrade to the latest firmware. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to kind of walk through the, the upgrading the firmware. There's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, these high visions are pretty, pretty robust and bulletproof. So uh, that's all there is to it. Just go over here to maintenance and uh, down here to firmware, then navigate over to your firmware that you downloaded and load it up. Anyway, that's all I got. Later.